What's up guys, this is Matt with Flagstaff Camera and today we're gonna to talk a little bit about turning this incredible mess that is organizing your negatives into something that's concise and easy to work with and lets you find exactly what you're looking for every time. Let's jump in. So the one downside of shooting film is that you end up with where you can end up with a mess. Uh, these negatives take up space, uh, they come in different formats, they're different sizes. Uh, so organizing your negatives is a chore, but something that needs to be taken seriously. And obviously something I haven't taken very seriously for the last couple of years. This is my mess from the last two years of me shooting film, just sort of for fun on the side. And what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take this mess and these awful four up configurations of negatives that are impossible to store in any useful way. And we're gonna turn them into beautifully sleeved and labeled, organized in binders so that I know exactly when something was shot, I know the roll number, I know everything I need to know about my film so that at any given time, I can go straight from the scans to the negatives or vice versa. Um, it's gonna be quite a process. Some of this stuff I've already sleeved and labeled some of it I have no idea what it is so I've got uh, a bunch of print file sleeves here and I've got a stack of binders for me to work with and of course a light table so that I can see what I'm doing and I'm just gonna let you guys sort of see the process here and um, so here we go there you go that definitely did not take me an hour and a half of individually resleeving bits of film from those terrible four up things you get from lesser labs into a proper archival storage solution and then labeling each one and then sorting them by date and then by type of film or color. So black and white or color is kind of my two systems here. That definitely didn't take me forever. Um, that was about two or three years worth of miscellaneous film that had been you know, before I started processing film here at Flagstaff Camera, I'd been sending it out. It came in those terrible four up things. Now, every time I get a roll of film back from Flagstaff Camera, it comes pre-sleeved in a proper three ring binder acceptable print file sleeve. It comes with the original twin check number that was on the film when it was run through the machine, which also means that that is how my film is organized in scans. So let's say, we'll just open up one of these. Here's roll 710, um, shot on a Hasselblad in April 2021 in California. So I know exactly when and where I shot it. It's a black and white film. And then in my computer, the scans are all under a folder called 0710, 710 and every individual file name has that 0710 as a leader. So if I need to go find the scans, I can do that. If I'm on my computer and I need to find the negatives to rescan them or look at them, I can do that. I know exactly where they are, which is awesome. That's how I organize my film. At least that's how I'm gonna do it from now on. Uh, Cause obviously I spent a while not organizing my film. I'd be curious to hear how you organize your negatives. Uh, do you have a system? I know some people are really good about it. Some people aren't. Um, we've just started carrying these uh, safe T binders for sale here at Flagstaff Camera. We've also got the um, film sleeves, the print file film sleeves, if your film doesn't already come in those. If you get your film processed by us at Flagstaff Camera, it's always gonna come in one of those sleeves. It's always gonna have its twin check number and the twin check number on your negatives will always match your scans. Um, I'd love to hear how you get your film all organized and squared away. Um, drop us a line in the comments below. Otherwise, see you in the next video.